Hey, Tiz, how's it going? Hey, you're absolutely fine. Could I have you check something for me, though? So, there should be something... Um, I don't know if you're watching on mobile or on computer. I'm testing out a captions thing. So, um, if you're on mobile, there should be a little icon with a like a speech bubble with CC on it, as in Charlie Charlie. Um, and it is captions. So, I am trying to see if the captions are working and capturing correctly. Supposedly, since it's an overlay, it makes it um, the most um, editable by the viewer. So, you can like pull the captions around, you can change the font, you can change the uh, size of it. And um, I'm not exactly sure how that works. So, if you could mess around with it and try it out, that would be great. I'm, I'm seeing them on my stream deck, I'm just not sure how to uh, make the size smaller, like, for the text. Because in, in my stream deck, it's... It's really big. <laughs> Hi! Okay, so Serve With Ice is the one who I am doing this for because um, I, I wanted to do it before, but I just, I guess, didn't have a urgent reason to do it, but now I do. So... I obviously I want to be accessible to everyone and I want to have it where you don't have to have your volume up super loud. So hopefully that helps. Is it being super accurate even with my stuttering and shit? Wait, did it just censor me? <laughs> Aww. That is fucking lame. <laughs> Freaking lame. <laughs> Aww. It's freaking lit, man. Okay, maybe maybe it's not the best the entire time. I think uh, I think there's actually a pop out window that you can do. I'm not sure. It depends on if you're doing it as mobile or whatever. Oh, you're on mobile? Okay. Desktop, it's overlaid on top of the stream. Well, that's neat. I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if it's actually going to give me a transcript after. If it does, that would be really awesome. <laughs> the AI is doing its best. Speaking of AI, I, I, it makes me wonder what uh, hijinks we're going to get up to in game today. It's perfect timing, too, because we're about to get into the game. It is time for a video game. And just as a reminder, uh, this game is a super flashy game, and if you are a person who 
struggles with epilepsy or has seizures, you may not want to. Um, you may not want to watch this game. I do have it set to uh, U.S. English, so I'm not sure that Midwest is much of an accent in itself. Then again, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know. I've never thought of myself as someone who actually has that much of an accent. It only pops out whenever I, um, when I spend too much time in Wisconsin, I get their accent. Anyways, I am remiss. I'm going to turn off the music. I was going to wait until uh, it said accident instead of accent. I mean, that makes sense. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. I, I need to focus on let's get the game up. All right. And launch. Launch, not lunch. No. All right, come on, game. Actually, capture, please. Oh, wait, it's capturing Sea of Thieves from before. That's why. There we go. <laughs> the cracks are showing. <laughs> see if they used not. See if they used. What? <laughs> oh no. Oh, brother. <laughs> Anyways. Let's get into the game. Alright. I'm gonna stop focusing on captions. Uh, we were on file to Ikumi Shrine. I was getting a lot of yelling from uh, Tiz when he was watching the stream back the other day. That's right. Game is stream or er, is, is stream titled. It's subtitled. I am not. That's why I had this or added this. Yeah. Words. Hi, Mizuki. Mental preparation is important. The key to victory is to kill the heart. Being quick to act is crucial. Your everyday life or er, Life. Your everyday life is of dire importance. Uh, yes. What? Why? The best training you could ever have is to be mindful during your everyday life. Diet and exercise form a strong body. And if you are always maturing intellectually and emotionally, you will always be able to anticipate your enemy's first move. I get it. But you're so messy! Does that mean you can't fight? <laughs> Hark. The blowing of the wind through the trees. He just dodged the question. You can't just say something cool to avoid my question. Mental preparation is important. In a fight, you must first be victorious in your mind. Like thinking I'm not gonna lose? Exactly. I do the same mental preparation before going to a strip club. Before I go in, <laughs> if I tell myself that they're all out of my league, then they will be. The mental fight has begun the moment I put my hand on the door. Yeah, I see. Actually, no, that's stupid. The key to victory is to kill the heart. Like, when you get into a fight, aim for the heart? No, it's the opposite. You must kill your own heart, Mizuki. What do you mean? If you are going to fight, you must suppress any mercy or emotional attachment. If you have even a mote of sympathy within you, it will be impossible to fight to your potential. Do not think of your opponent as a man. Think of them as a target. 
A punching bag or a board? Just a punching bag. Huh. Makes sense. Being quick to act is crucial. Mizuki, do you know how to win any fight against any opponent? Um, don't get in a fight in the first place? That is a respectable answer. But no, the way to win any fight is this. Hit them first, and hit them hard enough to finish them. I kinda get it, but... Of course, I'm not saying that's how you should behave. But thinking about this will make a big difference in a real fight. Yeah, okay, I get it, but... Seriously, Date, are you like acting or something? <laughs> not Date, Master. <laughs> anyway, practice these four truths and you will get stronger. This sounds like a scam. Believe in me. If you do as I say, you'll be thanking me in time. Are you sure? Right, how about we do a baseline test? Show me what you've got. Huh? How? Uh, let's see. How about you throw a punch? I can guess your strength from that. If you say so, I'll give it a shot. Is she gonna punch us? First, close your eyes and concentrate. Like this? Exactly. Then, punch forward! Huh? <laughs> How is that? Um... You don't have to be nice. I know I'm weak. Hey, by the way, did you swing back at those bullies? No, I didn't do anything. There were a bunch of them, I didn't think I could. I see. She doesn't know her own strength. I suppose not. Mizuki, let's just say I think you should be more confident in yourself. Really? But never ever strike your master. That <laughs> is a must. He's not wrong. Yeah, you're right. In fact, you're so strong you scare me sometimes. Well then? No, I can't take you with me. Why not? Your liability. Because I took responsibility for you. I promised Renju. I can't put you in danger. That's not fair. Bringing up Daddy. Iris and Ota feel the same way. They don't want you hurt either. You have to understand, Mizuki. If I need your help, I'll let you know. When the time comes. Really? Yes. Promise? I promise. Let's go, Iva. Where to? Uh, let's go to Abyss Headquarters. reach HQ. Let's summarize our investigation so far. Okay. I'm exhausted. Likely because you haven't had a good night's sleep. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been this busy. If my body were made of flesh, I would offer my lap as a pillow. I can't say something like that out of the blue. Huh, now it's awkward. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, about Mizuki. Mizuki did not have any new information about Okira Fishery. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. Hmm. Still. Something's not right. Okay. It's also creepy. Um, about Mayumi. 
Mayumi is suffering from dementia. If Mayumi followed Ota and Iris, it is highly likely that she saw the person in the polar bear costume. But... She might not remember. Correct. About so. There is only circumstantial evidence linking So Sejima to the new Cyclops serial killings. I agree. There has to be more to it. The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. So has a connection to the Kumakuras. There's a common link there. They have to be involved somehow. So also might have connections to Iris. Because So appeared in Iris's Somnium? Yeah. More about I am more so. interested in the hired guns that So uses as bodyguards. I did some research and discovered that Mr. Sejima hires substantial security. If all of his security staff are this heavily armed, Yakuza gangs pale in comparison. So trying to start trouble? Unknown, but there is definitely more than he is letting on. Okay. Steering wheel. Center console. Any other information? There is an important piece of news. What is it? The Odoroki Man chocolate found at the warehouse. Fingerprints were found on it. Whose? Mayumi Matsushita's. Oh, that's what? interesting. Mayumi bought the chocolate at the convenience store 812 on Koshu. This was captured on security footage. 812 stores are commonly called 8s. 8 is not far from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. Hold on a second. I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. Allow me to summarize. Please. The chocolate was purchased yesterday at 10.33 p.m. That's the same time Ota stole that car. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? Unknown. All that is known for certain is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an 8 store last night. And that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. Did she go there and drop it? It is possible. Well... Sorry to interrupt your brainstorming, but there's a call from the boss. Connect me. Date, did you hear that Iris's operation is over? Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. She made it, right? Yes, but she's still unconscious. She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. All right. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. He's out of treatment? Yeah, he's in a general ward now. Got it. I'll head over. I'll meet you there. Let's go talk to Ota. Central Hospital, Monday, 5.42 p.m. How are you feeling, Ota? You know, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still under anesthesia, so I don't have any pain. All right, that's good. Ota, I'm sorry to put this on you right after your surgery, but can you talk to us for a minute? Boss got right to business after introducing herself. I don't know why, but Ota seemed almost happy to answer. Maybe it was the drugs? Maybe it was the high from surviving a life or death situation? Or maybe it was because he saved Iris? Yeah, sure. Bed. Hey. Date, I don't think I can sleep by myself tonight. Will you sleep with me? Why me? 
Oh, then that old woman over there is fine. <laughs> old woman? Wow. Yeah, he's gonna die. Um, about the walk. Oh you yeah. You little shit. You hit me over the head with that walk, didn't you? Oh, uh, that was. I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so. Isn't there something you want to say to me? Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. But you're not gonna get a second chance. I won't do it again. I swear on Ganesha. You should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. Uh, who stabbed you? Were you watching the stream? A big polar bear. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. Probably. Uh, did you hear about Iris? Her surgery was successful, right? Yeah, thanks to you. If you weren't there, Iris would have been in real trouble. I'm Tessa's biggest fan. Any fan would have done what I did. It's nothing special. It's as normal as garlic and ramen. I You're think that weird. depends on preference. Honestly, I'm a little bit scared of my new power. When I locked eyes with that polar bear, I saw him start shaking. He saw how strong I was and got scared, no doubt. Ota's body temperature is rising. He's lying. He's he was embellishing scared. his story quite a bit. I think we can let that go today. Yeah, you're right. About that thing on Nile. That's... <sighs> Sorry. I promised that I wouldn't tell anyone. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is gonna come crashing down. <sighs> but I can't tell you. Why not? Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. No. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need hey, information. Paul. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Alright, Ota, spill the beans. About that thing. Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. What did you lie about? When I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because... Something happened after. What do you mean? What happened afterwards? This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. Iris was driving it? That's not good. Whoa! You surprised me! I'm more surprised than you are! Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa, do you have a license? Oh, yeah, of course I do! Not have one. You don't have a license? Shh! Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand! I had to borrow his car. Please don't tell anyone. Okay. You promise? Anything for you. After that, 
The light turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. That's what I meant by Sus. that thing. An idle driving without a license is a huge deal. So I kept quiet. That is very bad. Saturday at 6.15 p.m. Ota saw Iris and Renju together. They were we don't know the that there was nobody building. else in the car. Could have been in the trunk. Two and a half hours later. Ota witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. What are your thoughts? This is sounding really bad for Iris. But consider the current circumstances. Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. What is going on here? Hmm. What happened after you left Matsushita Diner? You mean after... hitting you with the walk? Yes. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. I told Tessa I was gonna go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car, and I went inside. But then, I heard Tessa screaming. Ota, help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could. But the car was driving away! I looked around, and I saw there was a car with its engine still on, and... The station wagon, right? Yeah. Before I even realized what I was doing, I was behind the steering wheel. I didn't mean to steal it. I just needed to borrow it. The time was 10.33 p.m. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. After stealing the wagon? I took the car, then drove out onto Koshu, but I couldn't find the van anywhere. I searched for what felt like hours. You didn't contact the police. I thought after I hit you. You shouldn't have worried about that. But that's all that I was thinking at the time. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. So I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. What's sticking out from the other timeline? Did you see me turn off the saw? Yeah, but everything after that was off screen. What happened? I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. What about it? I remember it? rushing the bear. And I think I was fighting him for a while. And we got tangled up. And then before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. Uh, do you know the identity of the polar bear? Just to make absolutely certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? No, I didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Anything at all you can remember? I'm sorry, I told you everything. I can't think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. Date, look. Oh, come on. After all this, what is he trying to hide? About the Odoroki man, chocolate. I took the chocolate out of my pocket and showed it to Ota. Does this jog your memory? Oh, that. What? Do you know something about it? You don't have to show me the thermograph. <laughs> it's written all over his face. Absolutely. Date. 
Ota is acting strange. I advise caution. What do you mean? He has a knife. I don't believe it. He's holding a knife. Why does he have that? In any case, you know what you have to do now. I know. <clears throat> Let me go! Let me go! What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up! Just let me go! Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. But you can still get information. And we're gonna sink Inside him, probably. Police headquarters, Monday, 8.15 p.m. Date, as you know, the limit is six minutes. Please, do not go over it. Won't be a problem, but are you sure this is okay? Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But... It's fine. Just get it done. Good enough for me. <laughs> okay, whatever, Peter. Flash warning. Can you please take me with you? I'm going to save right now. As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. Sorry, we can't have pets. Hm. Cold-hearted old man. This cold storage warehouse seems to be not a manga cafe or an otaku shop. No, but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live action dramas. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. I see. By the way, are you smaller? Either that, or everything else is bigger. Interesting. Hey, that's. Iris is about to be... Stop right there! The heavens call. The earth cries out. The crowds roar. All calling on me to strike back against evil. What are Hold you, on, All Might? Up. I will save you! Yeah! Oh, God. I will protect Tessa! Is this from the stream we saw? Never earlier? fear, for this I am here. Memory of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. All right, let's help reproduce the memory. Somnium scan activate. <laughs> Shivers intently. All right, lock one. Lock two. Lock three. Lock four. Relive Ota's memories. Reproduce the fiery battle between Ota and the polar bear. Save Iris, save the world. All right. Curse you, polar bear! Vanquish you! But if I rush in, I'll slip on the ice and fall! Like this. Whoa! 
that's quite the position. Damn it! If I go and take that, I'll have nothing to show for it! All of it amounts to nothing! What will I do? I don't know what that was exactly, but the knowledge you gained might be useful. I did not want to use my local storage space <laughs> for this. Alright, uh, heated insulation door, icy floor, ice cutting, and the game froze. Yep, game froze. That doesn't take long. Alright, let's try that again. Come on, game. Oh, by the way, there is actually a new sound trigger available. Can you please take me with you? There we go. Let's check the insulation door. Tackle, listen, open. Why are these all giant amount of times? Yikes. Let's check out the icy floor. The ice on the floor is slick. What the hell? Slide, jump, push, lie down. Oh, here we go. And throw ice at her. Wake her. Uh, this is an ice cold one. Just throw it. Yeah. Boop. No good, huh? I believe that Ota has to be the hero of this story. And he needs a little more motivation. on the platform. Uh, ears. Tessa's catchphrase. Yeah, if anything is gonna make her react, it's that. Alright. Ears! Headset! Head! A said! No, not you! This will probably not help wake Iris. Iris is on the platform. Try to wake her up. Iris! Hey! Are you okay? Tessa! Guess she's not waking up. Guess not. The ice on the floor. 
Um, jump, push, slow down, slide. Jump. The orthodox method. Understood. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Those who don't fight won't survive! <laughs> Whoosh. Ice removed. Gonna stare you down. Damn! He's too strong! It sucks! But this is war after all! Tessa! May the glory of victory be yours! Nerd. I suppose we have no choice but to find the glory of victory. Uh, shining light. Escort him to the green shelf or the red shelf? Red shelf? Agent Dante, you've got five minutes. An oil drum. Though it is lying down. Uh, fill, smell, roll? save I don't think it really matters if I save so much because I can access it through the flowchart good this? point I do need to save this? I have now saved Eventually stopped thinking. That's Tessa. That's an interesting crawl. Stand your ground. Odamatsu Shida cowers to no one. Shown the letter A on the drum. I have to fight back with something! Alright. Counterattack ignited. Turn on the electricity. A remote control. It fell when Oto ran into the shelf. Hmm. Investigate, press button, break. Press button. Hmm, nothing is happening. Maybe there's no power. Oh, right. Duh. Oh man, it's all the way over here. It appears to be a power panel. Uh, jump, pray, throw something. Let's throw something. This is an ice cold one. Iba, aim for the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch.
Bloop. Turned on the power. Now it will move! I... I can't stand. I'm weak. Did he really help Iris like that? Regardless of the truth, right now, <laughs> I am Ota's last hope. I have to help him up. This is annoying. Tell me about it. It's making my headache worse. Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Right. A remote control. Um... Press button. Here it goes. I hear some sounds, but no response. I'm not sure I should press it. Ota might need to. Yeah, Ota. What? Okay. Ota looks frightened. He cannot stand. Motivate, cheer, calm, encourage. Um. Motivate? Don't be scared. What is the stance? Don't beg for it. Earn it. Do it and you'll be rewarded. The ghost inside me whispered. That's right. I can't be scared now. I have to stand up. Now count up your sins. So there's a wound on their leg. Date, you've hit the limit! Time's up! Wait! I can almost make out their face! Pewter! Force shutdown! Stop! Stop it! <laughs> Smug looking polar bear. Awaken. We encouraged Ota. Achievement unlocked. Swain, my hero. Yep, we got stabbed by a polar bear. Day four, Monday. What were you thinking? You can only stay in- Quick save. <laughs> Somnium for six minutes. Any longer and you risk getting your mind completely taken over by the subject. I know. No, you clearly don't. This isn't just about you, Date. If your consciousness erodes inside of Somnium, you put the subject in danger as well. If I may? Fortunately, there were no abnormalities detected in the brainwaves after the sink. Date and Ota both read normal. Although, the timing was really close. What was I supposed to do? You saw it, boss. You too, Pewter. I was about to see the culprit's face. 
Not necessarily. We need to verify that Ota did, in fact, see the culprit's face. That's the only way it could have ended up in his Somnium. Well, Ota... Huh? You saw the killer's face at the warehouse, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see their face. If I did, I would have told you guys already. You see? I mean, I did try to get a look at them, when the polar bear fell over. They looked like they were knocked out, so I tried to grab the head part. But as soon as I did, I got stabbed in my gut. That is what we witnessed in his Somnium. Yeah. I think we've seen that knife before. I don't remember where, though. How are you feeling? I've been better. I'm still a little drowsy. What about your stab wound? My what? Oh! Oh, it hurts! It started acting up suddenly. Ow! It's because you grabbed me and forced me to come here, Date! Don't blame me, that was boss. Acting up. I'll sue you for this! Oh, With what money? On. Or how about this? Get me one of the straws Tessa used, and I won't sue you. Creep. I see Ota is back to his healthy self. I said Guess creep, so. not crepe. <sighs> About the hook and the polar bear leg. Ota, let me ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? Now that you mention it, maybe it did. Maybe? It's like I told you. I don't really remember much. With all the tension and excitement and fear and adrenaline, my mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, I remember. Yeah, no doubt about it. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. Date, I checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. with a wound to the left leg. If what I saw in Somnium is how it happened in real life, that was a deep wound. He definitely would have needed first aid. Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. You think there are multiple killers? That is not what I said. They may have helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crimes. I relayed the information to Boss and Pewter. Okay. Um, why were you hiding the knife in your room? Because I was scared. Scared? The killer could come here to finish the job. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? But they don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. You know what I'm talking about, right, Date? Preparing in advance in case you might need it. Like making sure your room is nice and clean before you go to it a party. It did look like he was gonna hurt himself, yeah. Oh, sorry. You probably don't have any experience with that. I have more experience than you. So we know that the culprit has a deep wound on their left leg. That information could be crucial in catching them. Date, get out there. Look for people with an injured left leg. How exactly? Can't you just go ask around or something? Are you serious? Do you know how many people live in this city? Whoa. What? Date, what is the matter? Date, when's the last time you slept? Date! Are you alright? Also, he's probably got a concussion.
Day 5, Tuesday. <laughs> Good timing. Thate Residence, Tuesday, 8.02 p.m. <laughs> that was a great timing with that. Hi, Mizuki. <gasps> hey, this is... Oh, it made me on. Mizuki? What happened? You drank too much at the club and passed out. Liar. I remember everything until I collapsed in the control room. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. That's what Pewter and Boss said. You met them? They brought you over. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. <laughs> uh, don't you have school? I'm off today. Why? Today is Tuesday. You should have school. Uh, her dad died? You really can be an insensitive jerk, can't you? Taking the day off for morning. Dot, dot, dot. Wow, I'm an asshole. <laughs> yeah, both her parents are dead. She's an orphan, you ass. Alright. Uh, did Boss and Peter say anything? Oh, Date's brain is rotting away. He won't last long now. You should probably prepare for a funeral soon. So, they told you I'm completely fine, huh? Hmm. I detect no noticeable damage to your brain. You should not have any issue continuing the investigation. Where's Ota? He probably went back to the hospital. Boss told Mizuki about Ota being synced. And about what happened at the cold storage warehouse. Why did she tell her all that? Mizuki was asking about the status of the investigation. The girl has lost both her parents. I am sure Boss felt it. that she deserved to know. Uh, time to get back to the investigation. Bed. Mizuki's bed. Hey, will you take me with you? I told you yesterday, Mizuki. I won't put you in danger like that. But you're close to catching the culprit, right? The killer has an injury on their left leg. Boss said you need to find them. Let me help you. No, you stay here. Date, don't you know how I feel? My parents are dead. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I don't do something, I'm going to go crazy! Date, please! Mizuki's having a bad day. Bad week, honestly. I've got a headache, but, uh... It's not getting worse, but it's not getting better. Let's just leave it at that. Mizuki. Date, consider Mizuki's feelings. She is lonely. Mizuki has not been with Renju and Shoko for four years. But clearly, she still feels a bond to them. A bond that was broken by the murderer. With her parents gone, Mizuki has almost no one. She can only depend on one person now. You know to whom I am referring. Santa Claus? Uh, fine. Fine, let's go. You're gonna take me? Yeah. And Hobbits is banned. Thank you. Thank you, Date. I got up, grabbed the towel from the sink, and tossed it at Mizuki. Here, wipe your tears. We're heading out. 
Mizuki quickly dabbed her eyes with the towel and smiled weakly. Date, I must admit I am at a disadvantage. The clue that the culprit is injured on their left leg does not help me narrow down suspects significantly. We need to revisit the scene. It's possible that we might find the culprit at one of the crime scenes. Or ask around the city for further information. Alright, time to save. it for AI Somnium Files for tonight. <laughs> and uh, we will pick that up again on next Tuesday. Alright. Give me a second to get the music back up. No, you don't have to leave, Hobbits. Wait, Mizuki has Aiba in the trailer? What the heck? Like, in her eye? Or just, like, in her hand? I have not watched the teaser, no. I don't remember Mizuki losing an eye in the game. So that is very intriguing. That is hella sus. Now I'm interested. I might have to watch the teaser because I know the ending of the game. That's insane. Insane in the membrane. Did you just come in at the ending? Yeah? Well, you, you came in at the end of stream, but not the end of the game. Because um, on Thursdays, I only stream for one hour. Yeah, what, what, what he said. Thanks, Ball. Um, so, just so people know what's going on for the rest of the week. Um, I will be streaming. Waiting on. makes idle cycles stack. <laughs> they feel like ants. ants. I have ants in my, my full, full metal, metal pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I forgot about that one. Um, so I will be streaming on Saturday. And um, I will be playing Sea of Thieves. Uh, currently, I have gotten level 50 on both um, Merchant and Gold Hoarders. I just have uh, Order of Souls left. So, and that's, I only have to level that five levels. So, if I'm not there by Saturday, that's what we're going to be working on. If, um, if we do get there, if I do get there before... Um, stream on Saturday. What we'll probably do on Saturday is try out one of the Athena's Fortune missions, which is what you get to do once you are a um, pirate legend. And then um, Sunday I have my band concert and then in um, so next week should be normal schedule, I believe. I don't think I'm going to have band rehearsal. So it should be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I will post that on my Google Calendar in the About tab on my Twitch. Allie, can you hang around and stream for a few more minutes by any chance? I suppose I can. Why, are you going to surprise me with something? I'm scared. I need an adult. Uh, break a leg Sunday? I'm, I mean, I'm going to have to because... Um, Guess who doesn't ever practice? <laughs> I think I've practiced all of, like, outside of concert, or outside of practice at 
band practice. I think we've I've only practiced maybe twice, three times. Every time I go to practice, I'm basically sight reading the music. And the funniest thing is every practice I've been to, we have not had any percussionists. And a lot of the songs are like very patriotic themed and you know american patriot uh music always has like the snare drum in the background like yet that that yet that that yet that that whatever that roll is i can't i can't roll it with my tongue but it always has that kind of theme and we don't have a percussionist so i'm kind of scared <gasps> Paul, thank you. Thank you for the gift subs. That's so amazing. <laughs> you got a gift sub. That's interesting because you got a gift sub that gave you a different tag too. Wait, why did my... <laughs> Oops. Uh, I think my bot got a gift sub too. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> my bot stole the kill. Oh no, how did that happen? Okay, so... Gifted five subs. So yeah, one went to the very first one. Rad no bad, Jago, Tiz, Hobbits. <laughs> well, thank you for the subs. That really made me smile. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember which one that is. It's really tiny. I think that's Judge, if I remember. No, wait, that's... That's Ernie. Yeah, that's Ernie, the elephant. Yeah, you can use the emotes again. In Hobbits, it looks like you've got uh, Hoondert as your uh, sub tag. So each each one has a different um, uh, what you might call it uh, elephant. So when I set up my um, loyalty uh, badges. I set it up so each badge is a different elephant. So first month is uh, Pounds the Elephant, which is the tiniest elephant. Uh, if you look in the um, banner up top of um, of this actual uh, screen, you see my face. And then if you look uh, two to the left and up, that tiny little elephant, that's Pounds. Uh, and then Hoondert would be to the... Uh, let's see. To the right of my face, uh, looking over top the bigger, big one. Okay, it's Hoondert because it's... Uh, H-U-N-D-E-R-T. It, it's basically... 100 um but in German <laughs> you realize you're not subbed yourself went to sub and the bank blocked the card oh no did you try to do too many purchases at the same time maybe that's why it blocked it I appreciate it. But, uh, so yeah. So in order from uh, left to right, you have Grandpa Biggs, uh, Minty, the blob elephant, and then Lady is behind him. Uh, next up is Ernie, and then you have um, Google. And then on top is Pounds, and then next one over is Judge. And then on the other side uh, of my face is um, Hoondert and um, 
Van. Van is the kind of um, teal grayish. But uh, those are all the ones that are up there right now. I think... I can't remember if I actually got more. I, oh yeah, I have one, a couple more actually. I've got two more that aren't featured in my um, various arts yet. Uh, one is a like a sky blue elephant that's super cute and of course uh, his name is Sky so S-K-Y-E um, and then I have one that you can actually microwave and that one's named Snuggles I've only microwaved him once and will never do it again because he's filled with lavender and uh, lavender gives me headaches. I hate the smell of lavender. So he will never be able to be microwaved ever again and used as a hot pad because he stinks. <laughs> So, unfortunate, but, uh, you know, that is what it is. Oh my god. I wish my headache would go away. This is so rude. Anyways. Thank you for the subs, Paul. Uh, thank you guys for joining and watching the stream. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I enjoyed playing this wonderful crazy game for you guys i look forward to seeing you again on saturday and i hope you guys have a wonderful night and uh you know stay safe stay awesome and sleep well my lovelies also stay st stick around Stick around after the credits to join for a raid.